briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 2005, the North Dakota Supreme Court heard a non-conventional property rights case, Wild Rice River Estates, Inc. v. City of Fargo. Wild Rice River Estates, Inc., a company that had invested around $500,000 in a rural residential subdivision with 38 lots, argued that the city's lengthy moratorium on building permits constituted an infringement on their property rights. The dispute arose over a 21-month building permit moratorium implemented by the city. The trial court supported the city of Fargo, ruling that the moratorium did not equate to taking Wild Rice's property. Wild Rice argued back, stating that blocking all economically fruitful use of their property indeed accounted for Herculean loss, a claim that would have turned the tide had it been supported by the court. However, the North Dakota Supreme Court disagreed with Wild Rice's stance, reinforcing that the company still held an economically viable use of their property during the enforced moratorium. The court further ruled that although enormous investment was made with reasonable expectations, it was not enough to push their allegiance towards Wild Rice. The judgment confirmed that the adoption of Fargo's proposed findings and conclusions without notice was legal, and the decision to impose the 21-month moratorium did not violate federal and state constitutions. The court rejected Wild Rice's complaints as meritless and validated the initial ruling, stating that a temporary restriction such as this moratorium doesn't equate to an unconstitutional taking of property. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.